What's up, you guys? Slash Movie Reviews. And last night was the 2014 Academy Awards, also known as the biggest night for movies. So I watched it. Why not have a little discussion about it? I have to say, I enjoyed this year's Oscars, you guys. I did. This year, Ellen DeGeneres hosted the show, and I absolutely love Ellen, it's hard to not love her. She could just be standing in a corner and I would just, I would love her. So I thought she did an absolutely great job. She had a bunch of funny moments. Ellen's little free pizza was absolutely the funniest thing of the night. It was so funny to see Harrison Ford grab a slice of pizza and see which celebrities would grab pizza and not and then put money to give it to the guy. I was laughing so hard. So hard. It was the funniest moment of the night. And that selfie, single-handedly, that is the most ultimate selfie I have ever seen in my life. Ellen's joke to Jennifer Lawrence about her tripping and falling that she did last year was so funny. So funny to the point where I actually secretly wanted Jennifer Lawrence to win, not because she deserved it. No, the award went to the right person. Maybe just because I wanted to see if Ellen would be that crazy enough to bring her her award. Since she didn't win... I guess we'll never know. Now, if there was one movie that I was super obsessed over in 2013, it was Disney's Frozen. I honestly never would have expected of any movie to get obsessed of. It would be Frozen, but it was. I love that movie, and let me tell you, there were going to be riots in the streets. Well, a riot in the streets if Disney's Frozen did not win Best Animated Film and best song. And luckily, the Academy feared me, and they gave the awards for those, and let me tell you, I was flipping out, and then Adina Menzel came on, and then I died. So let's take a moment and talk about Lupita Nyong, and yes, I did look it up, so I wouldn't make sure I wouldn't butcher that. Her speech for winning Best Supporting Actress was absolutely incredible so good she gets up there she's emotional you can tell that she's very happy that she deserves this but she takes the time and says anyone out there wherever you are your dreams are valid it was an incredible speech and her generosity and her sweetness and her kindness and she looks so cute doing it you know it was adorable it was an adorable adorable speech i absolutely love her now the best speech of the night though has to go to mr mcconaughey wow his speech just really just like hit me y'all hit me so hard and while yes i was upset that leonardo got snubbed matthew mcconaughey made up for it in his speech he gets up there and he's like he thanks his whole crew, and then he's like, I've got three people I want to thank. First off, I want to thank God, I want to thank my family, and I want to thank my hero who I'm chasing after. And his hero he was chasing after was himself, and it was just such a great, powerful speech. It was my personal favorite speech of the night. He was proven to everyone to take pride in yourself, learn to love yourself, love what you do, and love your God, and love your crew, and I was just like, yes, yes, you are more than a shirtless man, I love you, Matthew McConaughey, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Now, if I had to say what was my personal favorite thing about the awards, it honestly would just have to be the wins. Now, Gravity was my personal favorite film of 2013, so yes, I was very, very happy, I was a kid in a candy store watching it rack up all the awards. I was very satisfied. However, I have to agree, the best picture of the year should have went to 12 Years a Slave, and I'm glad that it went to 12 Years a Slave, because both Gravity and 12 Years a Slave will have both a significant impact in the future of cinema in completely two different spectrums. You know, if you look at Gravity, what do you think of? You think of the visuals. You think of Alphonse of Quran. You think of the masterpiece of filmmaking and how it all came together is just like so when you think of gravity you think of the surface layer you think of the film and how it looks and everything that's on the surface however you got 12 years a slave which has this giant heart and its heart is so big and so important 
important that it just comes out on the screen and you see that and I'm glad that therefore they gave the best picture win to 12 Years a Slave and it really really is beautiful and I absolutely just I, I loved it and I, I'm so glad that both Gravity and 12 Years a Slave both got the love that they deserve. So there you have it you guys that was my little recap of the 2014 Academy Awards. What was your personal favorite moment? Please let me know. What did you think of the awards as a whole? I personally really really loved it. So make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section below and until next time you guys I'm the Slasher Movie Reviewer, and you guys have just been slashed.